Nature came alive in Japan when we took an early morning Shinkansen from Tokyo to go to Ishikawa Prefecture in the Northwest. Typhoon Mitag had hit the city when we were boarding our first ever bullet train. And it's the first day of traveling without JR bus. In this episode, travel with us to Kanazawa, the city of samurais by the sea of Japan on a typhoon day. Yesterday night, so it's been Sanchi raining Sanda. on the western uh, side uh, very very badly. So the side is affected, but right now in Kanazawa, it's not raining that much. So we are hoping that we will be able to see some places at least. So let's see what's in store for the day. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining in Kanazawa. This is the Kanazawa station. It's considered one of the places that you must visit. Obviously, if you're coming to Kanazawa, you can't miss this. It's a cold day in Kanazawa, but that can deter us now that we have reached. So we will take the JR bus and visit the castle park and also hoping to see the famous landscape garden, Kenrokuen. We will try to go there because a uh, very helpful Japanese man just told us that it's beautiful if you look at uh, the leaves in the rain and everything. So while it sounds really good, uh, doesn't look really feasible at the moment. But we will try our best to do what we can. Kanazawa is an old city with many notable art and cultural sites to explore. It can be a fulfilling day trip on a good day. We managed to see a few things thanks to the complimentary hop on hop off bus service that comes with the JR Pass. Our first stop was the Higashi Chaya Tea District where you can find traditional tea houses, attend a tea ceremony and indulge in matcha. We are at Sabo Soshin, which is a little Japanese style cafe where we are going to try matcha latte. And this is in the Higashi Chaya district in Kanazawa. First cup of matcha. Let's see how it goes. It's just really good. Okay. And I'm not lying. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. It's quite nice. Good. Enjoy. While I'm having a tea root and stem brewed latte. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that goes.
Next stop is the Kanazawa Castle Park. Built first in the 16th century, the castle has been the site of great historical importance for the ruling empires at the time. Subject to multiple fires and destruction, what you see today is an extensively renovated structure. Rebuilt as a site of historic importance, the castle is a great walkthrough of complex Japanese architectural styles. Visit the castle park for a walk down remarkable history of the Kaga domain and the Meida clan that ruled here. As the weather intensified, we decided to grab some food and head back to Tokyo. Braving thunderstorms and typhoon above the sea of Japan, we could make the visit to Kanazawa a memorable one.